if ever the testimony of one witness in any sort of hearing, criminal hearing, which is this impeachment hearing, um, if ever a witness was more convincing, and in the case of these Republican devils, their argument more ridiculous, I, I, I have no idea when it could have been. I mean, this sort of thing didn't even come up with uh, uh, Nixon impeachment or the trials of all the criminals that went to work for Ronald Reagan who wound up in prison. Um, uh, or, or the, or the uh, well, there was some uh, over-the-top rhetoric during the Clinton impeachment, but that was to be expected. But Jovanovich, Marie Jovanovich, the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, who was kicked out of that job and then smeared by this pig, this filthy pig in the White House, uh, testified in the second public impeachment hearing um, into Trump. Now, the Washington Post put together uh, uh, some takeaways, four takeaways from Maria, uh, or Marie Yovan, uh, Yovan <laughs> come on Mike, Yovanovich's testimony. I wanna share them with you. Um, the first one, Trump's alleged witness intimidation. Now, the Washington Post has used the word alleged. I don't. That pig son of a bitch. I mean, that's the way he operates. That's the way the mob operates. They intimidate the witnesses. Try to scare the shit out of them so they're not going to say anything to reveal the truth of the criminal workings of the mob, in this case, the Trump mob. Uh, the most colorful moment, perhaps, there were a lot of them, in this hearing came in the 10 o'clock hour, according to the Post. Trump tweeted about Jovanovich. This is what he, this is what this pig son of a bitch tweeted. You know what it was, but let me repeat it. Everywhere Marie Jovanovich went, turned bad. She started off in Somalia. No, she didn't. How did that go? Then fast forward to Ukraine, where the new Ukrainian president spoke unfavorably about her in my second phone call with him. No, he didn't. It is a U.S. president's absolute right to appoint ambassadors. Hey, uh, bastard, Trump bastard, U.S. presidents have no absolute rights. Sorry, asshole, but that doesn't exist. You're not King Trump, although you'd like to be. You'd like to be Il Duce Trump. No. Uh, the Intelligence Committee chair who is running this impeachment, Adam Schiff, decided to go ahead and read the tweet. Yes, indeedy. I bet Trump didn't expect that. That cowardly little son of a bitch who sits on his large ass all day long and runs his Twitter machine, he didn't expect this. But Schiff decided to read it aloud and give Ms. Jovanovich a chance to respond. She said she found the effect of Trump's words, quote, very intimidating. Now, if you watched any of this today, you know that uh, one, of the, one of the last things Jovanovich did in Ukraine was to provi provide an award to a woman in Ukraine who had been working against corruption, who had been murdered by having acid poured on her. It took her four months to die. And according to the testimony, it was a very slow, painful death. So, what Jovanovich, the point she was making today, with all the threats and the smear campaign engineered by Trump and Giuliani, Trump's uh, uh, consigliere, which is all Giuliani ever wanted to be, was a mafia consigliere. He wanted to work for the mob boss with all this bullshit that a consigliere does. That's Giuliani. But she said she found the words very intimidating because she had just presided over a ceremony where a woman who had been 
trying to root out corruption in Ukraine, had been murdered for her efforts. Adam Schiff responded when Ms. Jovanovich said it was very intimidating. Quote, I want you to know, Ambassador, that some of us here take witness intimidation very, very seriously. Uh, you know, I, I, I think it's great that Trump is such an ignorant fucking savage, such a gangster mob savage. I wanted him to keep, I wanted more tweets to come today. The first day that this pig has been in office that I kept thinking more, more. Come on, come on, come on, Trump, more. But I think Schiff let him know. Go ahead, asshole. Tweet. Now, aside uh, from the allegation by Schiff and anyone who heard this, that his tweet amounted to witness intimidation, uh, what Trump did today was notably counter to what the Republicans employed this week, which was to focus less on attacking the witnesses and more on what the witnesses couldn't attest to firsthand. You know, you, you know this, I think we talked about it earlier this week, circumstantial evidence has put more people in jail than direct evidence. Circumstantial evidence or secondhand ev hearsay evidence. Although hearsay, I guess hearsay is not really allowed in, in criminal trials. I don't know if it's allowed in civil trials. But circumstantial evidence has been used effectively to convict, pe convict people that should be convicted. So Trump's pissing his pants and bleating and whining about circumstantial evidence or, no, I didn't talk to any of these people. Hey, Donnie, that doesn't mean shit. What an ignorant man. And during the, the, the first break, oh, and that was another thing. After uh, Jovanovic testified and after uh, Daniel Goldman, the uh, Democrats' uh, counsel, and Daniel Goldman is so good. I don't know who the, uh, the attorney was uh, for the Republicans, but what a cheap, where did they find him? I mean, even I was hoping he could come up with some question that was substantive about the issue at hand, and he couldn't. He looked like a fish out of water. But immediately after the 45-minute, 50-minute questioning by Daniel Goldman of Ms. Yovanovitch, Schiff said, okay, we got a lot of, uh, and, and the Republicans start screaming on the committee about, oh, point of order, point of order. Uh, and Schiff just shut the fuckers down. I love Schiff. Schiff is good. And he said, we're going to take a break because there are votes that need to be, you know, members have got to go participate in these votes. That break lasted, I don't know what, hour and a half, two hours, which immediately, it just fucking took the, 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 the wind, the farts that, that Jim Jordan and that little pig Nunes and the rest of the Republicans were just, oh, oh, wait, it's our turn, it's our turn. We're taking a break, assholes. Hey, oh, oh, oh. See you in an hour and a half. That was beautiful strategy on the part of Schiff because Schiff knows what he's dealing with. He knows who these pigs are. He knows what they do. He knows the lies that they're trying to promote as truth, the intimidation they're trying to promote as just mere questioning. And I love the way Schiff kept shutting these motor mouth assholes on the Republican side. Schiff just kept shutting them down. So go ahead, Donnie, you asshole. Call him Shifty Schiff. Shifty Schiff. I, th I think that's good. He's able to shift gears, Donnie, just broom and stick it right up your buddy's asses on that committee. I think that's great. He takes his stick shift and shifts it right up their sphincter muscles. Good work. Liz Cheney, whose father loves to watch torture porn, as we all know. He loves the videos and he doesn't want anybody else to see them from Guantanamo back in the day when... Uh, John Yu and some of these other uh, Nazis who worked for George W. Bush, after John Yu said, well, yes, it, it's okay to go ahead and torture and uh, uh, rendition 
We can send people to Syria and Guam and uh, not Guam, but Syria and and uh, uh, South Korea and uh, 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 where else? Ukraine, I think, to have them tortured. It's OK. It's OK. That Liz Cheney, that nasty goddamn. Can you imagine being raised by a man who likes to watch torture videos? Ah! But Liz Cheney, who is now the third ranking House Republican, wonder how that happened. She said, Marie Ivanovich, quote, clearly is somebody who's been a public servant of the United States for decades, and I don't think the president should have done that. Woo, 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 really? You went that far? Did you, Liz? What, you get a, a text from your torture-loving father that say, you better say something, honey? Is that what you, huh? Did that happen? And then Kenneth Starr, that pornographic little bald-headed fuck who got kicked out of the university he was teaching at because he is a pornographic loving fuck. You remember Ken Starr, the one who started out, let me see, investigating a failed land deal in Arkansas called Whitewater that involved the Trump, or I'm sorry, involved the Clintons and a couple of their friends investing in, in, in a land development project that went south failed. And it started with that. And Ken Starr wound up with his nose, with his nose in Trump's scrotum. That Ken Starr. You remember that, don't you? Ken Starr added on Fox. He was an invited guest to sit there uh, in the Fox sewer they gave him wading boots so that the human excrement wouldn't get all over him. But he said, quote, I must say that the president was not advised by counsel in deciding to do this tweet. Extraordinarily poor judgment. Extraordinarily poor judgment. You slimy little prick, you. That was an impeachable offense. What if Clinton would have done that? Now, it's not exactly a surprise to you or me or anyone who still believes in the possibility of putting this son of a bitch out of office and saving the country. It's not news that Trump's little little masturbatory tweets and his little whims can undermine other parts of government. We know that. Jovanovich or Jovanovic, I'm not sure how to pronounce Jovanovic, I guess, basically described a president who's completely disengaged from any kind of U.S. policy toward our allies and whose tweets his subordinates live in fear of. They're afraid of the tweets from this filthy mobster son of a bitch. Why are you afraid of his tweets? Do none of these Republicans or these members of, of the Trump administration, the men, do they not have balls? Is, is that your requirement, boys? When you go to work for Trump, you slice your nuts off and you become eunuchs and you do what the fuck he says? No, that's not a sexist statement about women because Trump is terrified of women. He shits his pants about women. Ones who are in power or ones who appear to him to have power or might get power. He's fucking terrified. But the men, that's a game Trump plays. You want to come to work for me? Huh? You want to work for the boss of all bosses? Come here. Give me your testicles. Huh? Come here. Put them in my hand. Now give me those fucking pinking scissors. Snip. Okay. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. 
you have your choice. You can listen to the ranting with the audio podcast or listen and watch me lose control with a video podcast subscription. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.